Hey, Spuddies, Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Khmer. Now, we're going for a religious victory here, but Jesus Christ, India, how many elephants do you need? Right. We built a couple of missionaries here in Angkor Wat because we wanted to get these turned into relics. We still have plenty of room for relics. So let's get some of these guys killed. Next unit here. Okay, I need to see if I can kill this apostle. Get a flanking bonus on him. I'm just using this like little swarm of uh, apostles as a, as a defensive swarm. We'll go to the next turn. We almost have Mont St. Michael. I'm really hoping we can get it. It would be really amazing if we could get it. Okay, we'll move across like this. We'll get a good flank. And then we will hit with the strong unit. I thought I had debater on one of these guys. Ah, it was this guy. So we'll kill there. That'll kill that off and give me Islam. Very good. Okay. We finished ancient walls in Angkor Wat. Turn down for what? <laughs> There's a lot of production in here. I'm going to start producing builders out of this as well because I need to just get my land improved. I'm kind of a little bit behind on that front. Oops, I didn't mean to do this. Encampments, encampments blocking missionaries is really obnoxious. I don't know if anyone else realizes this. But uh, I find it to be exceptionally obnoxious. I can't purchase it on Apostle, but I'm holding off until I have Mont St. Michael. Oh, I thought I'd built a camp there. <laughs> I guess I hadn't. That was a mistake on my part. I should have built that before I moved. Right, I will throw down a farm here. For what it's worth. Not much, but really it's just for the housing. Because I can get two farms up. Okay, so we have Mahendra Parvata. And we have Priya Vihar. I could get the mosque in here. I actually think it would be worth it to purchase this mosque because it would pay for itself in... Uh, 320 divided by 6 is... Uh, well, six, 640 would be 100 turns, so that would be... It would be 108 turns, so this will pay for itself in 52 turns. And, you know, I think there's at least 52 turns left in the game. So I'll definitely purchase that now. But there is an opportunity cost. Whether or not it'll pay itself off in terms of its opportunity cost. But it does give me a use of my faith right now, which is quite useful. And it gives me another place that I can recruit fully upgraded missionaries and apostles from, which is quite useful too. I, I do think I need to know more about the world over here. So I'm going to start... I'm going to make a... Um, I need a cheap unit. I'm going to grab a scout here. Everything else is a bit expensive for me to really be producing in anything than a casual level. Let's take a look at the religious pressure. So somehow I have the most pressure here, but my religion is not dominant. Possibly due to missionary activity. I'm going to keep Pressing in Xi'an, if I if this is where that trade route goes to, and it is. So I'm going to press. I'm going to continue to pressure Xi'an. Okay, I got another builder in here. I'm going to send this builder up here to improve this city a little bit. Uh, I have a missionary here. These missionaries were on a death mission over to India to try and get themselves killed. These two missionaries were trying to sneak around, see if they can do a little bit of spreading. Uh, you can't actually move anymore. Okay, we'll get the camp online, and we'll get this one online as well. Okay, so I want you... You guys are all standing around the holy site, with the exception of you. But then you'll be able to heal up at this holy site. There's another Taoist missionary coming in here. We're going to want to kill that too. If I were again okay, progression towards urbanization. That's because I have a really big capital. Okay, we have Petra and plus one movement for all naval units. Let's have a look at production options in here. 
What do we want to go for? Castles, banking, metal casting. I think we were going for bombard because we want to have... Or rather, we were going for ballistics because we want to have a unit to upgrade our thingies. Okay, we want to sneak past here. Cross the river if you can. Go there. Okay, we have an apostle. I'm going to go explore up here. Oh my god, there's definitely more cities over here. I may build more cities. But let's go get a flanking bonus against this guy. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, a lot of these builders coming out. That's good. This is an ideal being annoying here. Do some converting to pressure this city. Wuhan, I'll have to pressure that too. Okay. So we built a builder. Very good. Let's get a few farms, I think. Uh, builder completed. Yet another builder, please. Just could do a lot of builders. Uh, I'm going to go trade with Chengdu again, I think. Well, I might trade with Agra, but I want high yields is the problem. Is the issue. I do need to start building commercial hubs in my cities to give me more options for... Why can't I go through that? That's annoying that you can't walk through this unit. Go here, get a good flank. We'll do damage to him. There it is. There's another Buddhist missionary over here that we can kill. Okay, this is not what I was hoping for. This goddamn Scythian missionary is in my way. Uh, but now this now this unit's hurt, so I may as well spread. Um, for what it's worth. It's not worth much, but I may as well spread. Because... It's already hit by an Inquisitor, and I may as well get the Relic out of it. What I was hoping to do was to get the Pazurk and see if I could convert this and get some of my own pressure over here. Okay, I built a scout. Go auto-explore for me, buddy. Okay, we have some of these missionaries to kill. We've got a lot of missionaries to kill. So you built me a scout. I would really like a commercial hub. I think a campus could also be a viable option here. Commercial hub would do the trick to give me um, trade routes. These other things don't help too much. I mean, an entertainment district could be reasonable. Maybe I'll stick an entertainment district here. Okay, you got your ancient walls. Go ahead and get your holy site now. Okay, we'll stick a farm down there. That's a really good farm tile. Gonna help that city grow a little bit quicker. Missionary. There we go, we'll spread here. This will have three citizens following after this spread. Okay, hopefully we can get that city underneath our belt. We'll get a plantation in here. This city generates quite a decent amount of gold, actually. We'll go into our next turn. Okay, we got a relic. We're up to four relics now. I mean, I probably could have got more relics earlier. But I really, I, I feel like I, I didn't rush them too hard. I feel like I did an okay job pushing for relics. And we've gotten a few now. Okay, let's press in here. Okay, we killed that guy off. I'm going to pull back now to heal. We're generating so much faith and, and actually a fairly, you know, significant amount of tourism. So this will bring this up to three citizens again. It says bring it up, but it's not really doing anything. Okay, great. We'll drop a farm here as well. That'll mean this city can continue to grow much taller. We'll get another plantation over here. So it looks like there's some religious battling going on over here. 
I'm going to save this spread because I want you to get killed. So I'm going to send you over here to hopefully get a thingy to kill you. And you'll move over here to start doing this sort of thing. All right, I got a builder out of here. I will send a builder down here to improve this city. And we'll continue to get builders because I just need them. I don't have enough at this point in the game. Yeah, I'm going to grab a lighthouse here. This city has been kind of hurting for um, granary or, or growth in terms of housing. Okay, so I'm going to stick a farm there. There's another robust growth tile that'll speed up this city's growth. Now, let me have a look. Okay, you're already production focused. Can you grow anymore? You can't. So I'm going to put you on production and faith focused. Alrighty. So. What else could I do over here? I could put a commercial hub right there. That wouldn't be a bad spot for one. I'd be on board with that plan. Some really open terrain over here. I really want to be settling on rivers though, if it's at all possible. So I might settle there and then do a holy site there or something. We, we, we could play around with it. Uh, let's see. We'll do a farm here. You're not working this, but I can... Once you grow a little bit... In fact, I think you're at the point now where growing more doesn't matter. So I'll just put you to on faith, faith focused. And then you'll have still a reasonable... Production profile. Because I don't think growing you... Yeah, growing you again would only get me access to more food. So I'll just leave you the way you are now for a while. I'm going to pull you back here to heal. You go there. You go there. Okay, I will drop a plantation on these bananas. I'll drop a farm on this tile here. Okay, you're heading up over here to kill Pazirik. So as I'd hoped. Okay, you'd like to trade elephants for mercury? That's a reasonable deal to me. I'll take that deal. We have Mont St. Michael. This gives all of my apostles the martyr ability, which is really good. So we'll be able to choose our, um, we'll be able to choose our thingies, new, new abilities rather. Okay, we got Machiavellianism. That's good. We are going to put that in because we do want to get spies. I want, I would have really liked for this religious update for ways to get spies to, like, I want to have, like, what if I could sabotage a religious district? Which could cause, uh, I don't know, which would add pressure, you know, like covert ops or something. I don't know. That could be good. I, I want spies to, I, I feel like spies should interact with the religious victory and they don't. That's one of my major criticisms here. I think I'm almost finished building builders. Uh, I do want to pick up some stuff here. The Angkor Wat could be good, and maybe I'll see. Maybe I'll see if I can pick that up. Okay, choose production here. We finished Mont Saint Michael. I'm trying to remember what is the major benefit other than this. So this gives you plus two faith and plus two relic slots, which is you know, I could get more tourism in my capital, I guess, if I were to do this and put them in. Angkor Thom. I could get all the faith generation ever in this city. It's like generating what? If I go in here and tap this, 88 faith in this one city. Okay, we have we have banked up a bit of faith here. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of missionaries. We need to start attacking China. Get China underneath our belt. Oh, I have too many religious units over here. Well, let's do it here. We'll get some more missionaries. Okay, we finished Mont St. Michael, but what's important for me now? I would really like a... A commercial hub. I don't want to crush these tiles because they're too important. I could actually use a builder in here because there are some tiles over here that I want to get improved for production. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to drop a farm here. So I can't actually attack mission or um, inquisitors myself. We'll spread Islam here. 
We spread it. We spread. Um, I just want to point out we spread a bunch of times, and this has stayed at three, even though mission. I, I believe missionaries are supposed to subtract some pressure now. Just wanted to point that out. There have been major improvements to the religion game, but I think there are still issues, and I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to say. I think it's a definitely a lot better religious-wise. I think that would be my my assessment, but I think there's still room for more, for more improvements. Okay, I have three build charges here. I'm gonna send these... I'm gonna go drop a lumber mill here for the extra production. Okay, you should heal. Okay, I should be able to start spreading here. Okay, nice one. We got another martyred apostle. The Holy Lance. Move that to Angkor Thom as well. Lots of tourism from this, actually, amazingly. Although I think it's it's significantly reduced due to um, enlightenment and stuff like that. But we're still like making actually like a reasonable amount of. I actually think Jaravaman he could do really well for a uh, culture game. Maybe I'll play them again and go culture. Maybe I'll do like an Indonesia game and then I'll do a Jaravaman game. Where I go culture. I think these these guys actually these guys strike me as far more interesting for a cultural win. Because they can actually turn their faith into tourism easily early game. So markets rather than gambling on like promotions. So I finished a builder. You go there. You go there. So I think I'm winding down builder production now. Do I go for more settlers? Well, more settlers would equal more holy sites, but I don't think that really helps me. I think I'll pick up a spy. And that may help me. So let's head up here to Shenyang. See if we can start doing something about that. Uh, not really a whole lot I can do with you, although I could get a lumber mill over there, which would be perfectly reasonable. Okay, I want you to be killed as well. I'm going to send another two missionaries over here to be killed. Because we have plenty of room. We have plenty of room for relics. So let's see. We don't have any missionaries in our borders. I'm going to move you guys back over to here. In a more defensive posture. Okay. So let's have a look at the pressure here. So this is a six city. It's got three of each. What happens if I do this? Okay, I put two under pressure. Islam now exists. In some form. But not enough to really make a difference. Okay, we got another martyred missionary. Great. Another relic. Really, really good. The Stone of Scone. I mean, you could do a really interesting relic build if you were able to get the, the Crystal Red and Tor. Hmm. Maybe a, maybe a religious game was the wrong way to play these guys. Okay, so Islam now exists. Boom. We'll continue to spread. I'll spread an, one more time and then I'll go see if I can find an Inquisitor to, to die to. All right, Apostles. This, this is my Apostle hit squad. That's for de defense. We're going to start... I'm going to do uh, Enhancement. I'm going to find one of these Apostles. If, it, if they get a bad role on their promotion, I'll do an Evangelization of Belief. What are you? You're the Martyr and Pilgrim. Oh! The Martyr ability applies to... Ah! Well, all of these guys are really useful. I want to see if I can find one with maybe a bad ability. Okay, I'm going to chop here, and that'll speed up the rate at which I get the spy. I'm going to put you guys to sleep, because I want to see 
Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say, but I want I want them to be asleep. Right, I've got another missionary, couple of missionaries here. Let's send them over to Chennai, see if we can convert that city. Spread here, right? We got Agra underneath our belt. Like, we have a lot of pressure, but it just looks like... Pressure doesn't matter as much, it seems. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just not reading it yet. Maybe I just don't understand it quite yet. All right, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. You've got lots of room for growth, so you're still growing. What about you? A little bit of room for growth. No room for growth. That's why you're on focus for that. You've got no room for growth. So that's why you're focused on production. Okay, I will throw down a quarry here. Because it's a little bit of production in that city. In a city that's desperately light on production. So again, I'm not going to trade any of my relics away. They're way too valuable for me. Accumulated enough faith to purchase an apostle. Translator, really good ability. Gonna keep him. Purchase another apostle. Right, you've got two build charges. I'm gonna send you down over here. I'm gonna drop the mine there. Okay, very good. Lots of production in this city. I could probably trade away a couple of tiles here. I won't, but I could. Keep going. Okay, you already spread there. Let's go get Chennai underneath our belt. That'll bring this down to one turn. So what are we at now in this city? God damn it. This this arrow, this needs to be easier to click on. <laughs> um my god. Oh my god. So you've got one more spread in you. Did a little bit of spread, so we have a foothold here. Whether or not that's going to be significant to, out to the outcome of the game. That shall be foreseen. Remains to be foreseen, rather. He built Chichen Itza. Bunch of people declared war on Tomiris. China declared war on Tomiris. I can build a Guru. Apostle has a promotion. Okay, so this guy... I, I'm getting this bug again, where I only have a choice of one promotion. What's going on? Right, I'm going to evangelize my belief here. So, I think Tithe could be good. I'm going to pick up Tithe here. A little bit of money. No harm in that. Set a little bit of money. It's actually quite a decent amount of money. Right, missionaries. Let's have a look. How much pressure is in this city? Pretty much maxed out. Okay, we're going to want to head over to Jeanne and see if we can get our stuff going. Getting Shen Yan underneath our belt. Right here. You gotta I think I have enough builders now. I think I feel comfortable going back for some of this stuff like campuses and stuff. Um I'll get one more. I'll get one more builder. I'm gonna pick up ancient walls here, just for the sea defense, as much as it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. I want to chop that there. Chop that there. I'll chop this into the market. And then I'll just finish this by in one turn. I think we're starting to wear down India. Looks like their their uh their inquisitors have given up trying to defend. Okay, so now we can pressure on further. Two places like Madurai and Mumbai. I'm going to start trading with Madurai. 
Okay. We've got an apostle up. Oh, look at this little sneaky guy. Look at you sneaking in here. You dirty snake. I'll have to kill him. But yeah, I'm, hit, I'm hitting that bug again where my apostles, they don't, they only get one choice of promotion. I think I will get this quarry online because that'll give an adjacency bonus to that factory, rather, the uh, industrial zone. Okay, you have two build charges. Yeah, I think, I think we're more or less done making builders for now. Hmm, where do I send you? I'll send you down here. All right, we'll call that an end to the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.